So I started with some wood and I have four pieces, two measured one by three by 19 inches and two measured one by three by 16 inches. I took the 19 inch pieces and put them on the top and bottom and the 16 inch pieces I put on the sides. Now these were cut at a 45 degree angle and I just took some Elmer's wood glue and I glued all of my pieces together to make a frame. And then I'm just using some clamps to hold them in place while the glue dries. I set that aside to dry and I have four more pieces of wood and these ones measure one by four by 19 inches and then one by four by 16 inches. So they are the same measurements as the first set of wood. The only difference is that they are four inches wide rather than the three inches. And then I took my Elmer's wood glue and I glued everything together again to make a second frame. Now I'm using my wood clamps. If your wood clamps are long enough to clamp all the way from the left to right side, that would be better, but my clamps were not, so I'm just clamping them right at the crease here. I went back to my first frame and I'm just using my handheld stapler to just staple at the creases. And then I just took a 220 grit sanding block and I'm just giving the wood a little sand. And then I repeated the same thing with the wider frame. And now I'm just going to glue my three inch wide frame on top of the four inch wide frame. Now, if you can find frames on clearance where you don't have to cut your own wood, you could still do this. Just make sure that you have one frame that's a little larger than the other. So I'm just gluing those together and clamping them. And then I'm just going to set this aside to dry. And now once that was fully dry, I'm using some Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint and the color is dry time. And I covered my entire frame with the dried time. Now I'm gonna to go to these canvases. They're 11 by 14 and I found these right at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use three of them. And on my canvas, I decided to stencil. And you can do anything that you want. You can decoupage on the canvas. You can decorate them with um, some wood cutouts. So my first canvas says, in all things, give thanks. And I'm just using a foam dabber to apply the paint. Now my second canvas, I just picked something that could really be left all year round. It says home sweet home. And on this one, I'm applying some Wise Owl chocolate using a mini foam roller. And you just want a very small amount of paint. And then for the sweet, I'm using some Higgins Lake. And I'm just dabbing very lightly on top of the middle word here. And again, a very small amount of paint. If you have too much paint, it's just going to seep underneath your stencil. In my third canvas, I picked something that you would put up during the winter season. And again, I'm using the chocolate. And then I went around the frame of the deer with some of the dry time.
I set the canvas aside to dry and then I took these small magnets and using some E6000, I put a magnet in each corner of the frame. I found these plated corners right at Hobby Lobby. It came in a four pack for $1.99 and I just added them to each corner of the frame. This just dressed it up a little bit. And then I took four more magnets and I placed them on top of the magnets I had glued to the frame. And then I used some hot glue to attach those magnets to the back of the canvas. And now you can pop that canvas out and you can change it throughout the different seasons or holidays. So then again, I took four more of the circle magnets and placed them on top of the magnets we glued down previously. And using the hot glue, I laid my canvas down on top of them so then the magnets would stick to the back side of the canvas. And I flipped the frame over and I just used a sawtooth hanger so that you can hang this on the wall. And now we just have this interchangeable picture frame and you can design your canvas however you want. And I just thought this was a fun, easy decoration that you can make for yourself or even for somebody for the holidays. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube or our webpage. Have a great day.